Hello, in this video I'm going to be proving to you that cos A minus B equals cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. Now I'll be proving this to you using the same diagram I used to prove that sin A minus B equals sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. Now if you'd like to know how I came up with this diagram please visit the link below this video related to this proof. Alright, so I'm now going to begin proving why this is the case. Okay, so I've got cos A minus B here and this is adjacent over hypotenuse. The angle A minus B, okay, is over here. And uh, what we've got is this triangle, OST, okay, a right-angled triangle. Its adjacent side is OT, and its hypotenuse is 1. This means that cos A minus B is going to be equal to OT, alright? Now, what is OT, though? Well... OT is this length, okay? OT is actually OR plus RT, okay? Let's write this down. OT is OR plus RT, all right? Now, because RT is the same as the length QS, right? This means that OT is equal to OR plus QS, all right? And this is the equation we are going to be using to prove that this up here is the case. All right, so we know what OT is. This means that we have to look for OR and QS. Now, what is OR? Let's look for OR. OR is this length over here, okay? And it's part of the triangle OPR, okay? Which has an angle A, which is this entire angle over here, B plus A minus B in brackets. Now, if we, if we write down cos A equals adjacent over hypotenuse, we can get an equation which describes OR, okay? Because the adjacent of this triangle over here with an angle A is OR, okay? And its hypotenuse is, in fact, cos B, okay? Now, if we know that cos A equals OR over cos B, this means that OR is cos A, okay, times cos B. And we've discovered what OR is, which means we only have to discover what QS is to prove this up here, okay? Okay, so to complete our cos A minus B proof, we need to figure out what QS is. So let's focus on QS, okay? QS is a length, right, related to the triangle which is a right-angled triangle, P, Q, S, okay? And it's actually the opposite side when you've got sine A, okay? So let's write down sine A over here, and let's make this equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Now, the opposite side of sine A is going to be QS, okay? It's going to be QS. 
and its hypotenuse is sine b. Okay? This means that sine a is qs over sine b, which also means that qs is sine a times sine b. Okay? So we've discovered what qs is. Now that we've found ot, or, and qs, we can prove that this is true. Okay? Now ot is cos a minus b. Okay? And this is going to be equal to or, which is cos a times cos b, okay, plus qs, and qs is sine a times sine b. Okay, which means that cos a minus b equals cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. And we've proven that this up here is true. If you have any questions related to this video, please leave your comments below. Thank you for watching.